Hey guys, it is Jacob. In this, in this video I'd like to show you how I respected the build after the last video and how I'm progressing the Atlas now. I'm playing uh, like, let's say, off-meta build. Nobody else plays anything different as far as I checked. Nobody is playing the items that I do. I'm trying to go the mana stacking way. <clears throat> with like yeah mana scaling into spell damage through modifiers like spell damage for every 100 mana sealed and so on and what I did was I respect <coughs> the tree a bit just to scale the mana more to scale some intelligence Focus Blessings and Spell Burst and that's pretty much it. I will put the I will put the Builder uh, link in the description of the video so you can check there and I will upload update it as I go through the build is far from optimized for now but it is able to clear tier 7 maps so yeah uh, a bit had to take a bit of a scale radius here to be able to increase the radius of the copy so I can stay in it most of the time and it is pretty much an auto bomber when I just run around and the copy does everything for me like this I don't have to like cast anything it just goes for itself. It looks the same in the map. <coughs> I can show it actually. Let's take a quick look at um, at some map. Where did I end it? Yes, here. Time mark six. I'm progressing the atlas slowly forward. I'm in time mark seven in Voidlands, and I'm completing time mark. I'm completing time mark six in every region now. So I'm in Steelforge right now, <coughs> and the map experience goes like this: you just cast your mana ball, you summon your copy, and then you just run through the map. started doing the <coughs> league mechanic and uh, in like time mark 5 maps haven't been doing that before that because I thought it would be just a waste of time and it would so I would advise you to just don't to just ignore the league mechanic until you get to higher tier maps uh what could be interesting info like the cost of the build is around like 15 30 60 one so around 100 fe right now i'm using these memories which were 15 fe each or 15 or 16 Oh, that's another so that's like 120 this was like five but I imagine that that goes up in price a bit so let's say like 20 more so 150 <clears throat> and you might be asking how did the, how did I like make enough FEs to afford it I had this gear on level around level 80 I had this gear done and it was really simple you just open your market and I just did this all the time I I was just selling all the flame scents and when I got short on flame scents just 34, 35, 34, 33 for one FE I was selling them 
Early on I was selling them number 39 for one because I needed the FE FEs fast for my first few upgrades. And then I was also selling my FEs for more flame sense to be able to sell, to sell the flame scent again. So yeah, it looks looked like this. And it is still going on. <clears throat> and I will be doing this until it stops working basically. Because later on, when I when I will want to craft my items, I will be able to either farm the flames and fast or buy it for cheaper. So yeah. I also dropped this amulet. I'm trying to sell it, but I don't have any other amulet <laughs> right now. So yeah. <clears throat> have to complete the tree here uh, fluorescent cause damage target pool two fluorescent bubbles while in nightmare every one minute all nightmare roots move to a random place yeah that's manageable league mechanic in my opinion is interesting um, the boss is there might be a bit overtuned, but that might be because my build is not that strong yet. I hope that I will manage to like <coughs> make it work even better than it is working now. But considering that I just run around and everything just dies and I don't have to like do anything and I don't have to aim, it's really an auto bomber. Another auto bomber, who would have guessed, right? So, if everything goes as planned and I manage to buy a few more upgrades, uh, sad, sad thing is that my upgrades will cost me around 400 FEs now, at least the gear upgrades, and I'm I will be trying to fix my fix my Ease. Fix my Tetris today. I need some spell burst stacks. I need skill levels. I need focus blessing. Yeah, I will be fixing that today. So hopefully my damage will go above like 500 million at the end of today. We'll see. So this is how the league mechanic looks. You just fill fill the tree and then you run it, hoping for some good drops on the end, at the end. And you, what I got from it, you just don't want to get hit by this boss, which is hunting you from the beginning of the map until you finish it. Oh, this is the last boss. You have to kill one of them and the other one disappears after you finish it. And then you just take your loot. And get out and then you have to go through the map again basically that that's the only thing I don't th that's the only thing I don't like about the mechanic it, it makes you run through the map once and then you have to run through it again
But it, that's not every map, that's just when you go into the nightmare version of the tree. But yeah, I need more spellburst stacks, I have 5 right now. I should get to like 7. So that's almost a 50% damage increase. And the build right now has around like 15 million DPS. So yeah, that's how I got here. That's what I got. And that will be it for this video guys. So thank you guys for watching. I will be streaming throughout the day. So if you would like to check how, I, how I'm doing, come by the stream. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and see you.